true. <laughs> did you did you ever in your in your formative years did you ever audition as a for any talent show yourself? All of them. Did you? Carol Levis, Leonard Ari, Brian, Mickey. When I was 16, I took the day off from school, uh, and I come out from I came up from Dulwich to Golders Green Hippodrome, which was a very long journey, and I was totally confident. I had the snap brim fedora, I had the kipper tie, drape shaped suit, uh, correspondence, two color suit, shoes. <laughs> Utterly confident, no fear. <laughs> until I got, until I realised I was Golders Green Hippodrome, and there was the stage in front of me, which was like the approach to Heathrow. It was endless, and I was walking, walking, walking. I couldn't believe the size of the stage. I'm 16, I know nothing. Ah. And I get to this microphone, it's like a claw that wanted to drag me into the pit. And I went straight into um, my act, which was, I'll give you a sample. Uh, <clears throat> um, I got out of a sick bed to come here today, my fiancée has a cold. I was born in Beckenham, I wanted to be near my mother at the time. I was a sickly baby, had to suck my thumb through a tube. I'm doing it at this speed because I'm so nervous. <clears throat> uh, and I remember how my grandmother used to pick me up, putting me on her knee, look into my baby blue, blue eye and go, itty diddy 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 waddums. Then after a while she'd sober up again. But at that point I took a breath. And I heard Carol Levis, the great Carol Levis, speak to me from the cavernous dark of the stalls. He only ever said two words to me and he said them then. Go home. <laughs> That's a killer, isn't it? I went home. And I sat in the bath and cried. Oh, it didn't stop me. It, it, fame is the spur, isn't it? That's, that would make, that's what motivates everybody to be it. And that, presumably that's what motivates people to be in Opportunity Knox. In retrospect... Actually, it's, called, it's not called Opportunity Knox. It's called Bob Says Opportunity Knox. I'm sorry. We have a lovely logo that says Bob Says Opportunity Knox. And it looks gorgeous. <laughs> but Frankie says relax. Bob <laughs> says, no one's going to call it that, but isn't yeah, it grand? Yeah. But fame is what people are doing it for, isn't yes, it? Yes, To it be is. fair, in retrospect, looking back yourself, would you have tried quite so hard if you'd known some of the penalties of fame? I mean, do you enjoy fame? I love it, Terry. It's been wonderful. Oh, you know, you love it too. I know you. you what it means is, I mean, if somebody said you can always get a, a seat in a McDonald's, doesn't it? That's right, yeah. that's right. And other, other little tiny perks come with it. No, it's been gorgeous. I've loved it. Yeah. Uh, it's what I always wanted. And I think uh, uh, it's what is animating each of the, con uh, the, I can't call them contestants because they're talents. Each of the discoveries that we will make and the British public will make over the next 13 weeks on Saturday nights on BBC One at 7.45 uh, is going to be, it's going to, we're going to find stars. I mean, uh, Stuart Morris has already said to me, we found enough talent to fill two series, and I believe him. Now, finally, Bob, hold your waist for a moment and don't mm. go away, because a man who won Opportunity Knox for six weeks in a row in 1964, and who further received the all-time record number of votes in the series, and age does not appear to have withered his talent, one little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Holland. Uh
It's a rough thing, Mikey. 67, 20 years ago. 64, and you're still in the prime. Have you got anybody like Tony in there? Well, me? I'll, I'll, I'm doing the same. <laughs> yes, yes. Go, let, go, give us a quick demonstration. Oh, wait. I, I must admit I was boasting. I'm, I'm going to leave my body to science fiction. That's how bad mine is. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas you look as good as ever. Yeah, oh, congratulations, so Tony. Well, it's well, nice I've got, to see. got to thank for that. He's given me excellent health and... Yeah, uh, and a fine body. Yeah. And the clapometer. Yes. Well, yes. Oh, well. well. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. Right, come to us for we leave you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Bob. And there we leave you. With the, with the sanguine thought that we wish you well. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>